LTV to CAC. So what is LTV? LTV is long term uh, value of a customer, and CAC is cost of acquiring that customer. Forget about how you calculate LTV, how you calculate CAC. It's given in the company's presentation. It's very easy to break that down. But understand these metrics in the sense that all good quality SaaS companies have an LTV to CAC of somewhere between three to five. So that is where something like 12.9 is extremely good for a company like Red Gain. It's extremely good. As investors, you should look at it with a some sort of suspicion. You should not be. Uh, why I'm not saying is making obviously we uh, when company is saying you have to unless you have some uh, proof you you have to believe that these numbers are true and uh, but you have to keep a watch on this number for the next two three years at least to see whether this is sustainable. मतलब thirteen तो छोड़ दो अगर अब sustainable basis में eight nine भी अगर हुआ ten भी हुआ तो that is way 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 ahead uh, of the industry. Uh, my sense is that this number is probably high because of some bump up we have seen or the the, the kind of uh, revenge travel we saw in the last one year after the opening opening up that might have something to do with it and plus at the same time management uh, did some changes acquired some new companies so they might that could be the reason and we'll only get to know in the next two years three years with sustainable or not but this is one important uh way of looking at uh whether the company is doing well if a company is having an ltv to cat of less than 3 you should consider that saas company as an average mediocre saas company and if it is having less than uh one that means it is burning cash matlab wo company mein to aapko invest karna hi nahi chahiye kyunki wo company जितना लाइफ टाइम वैल्यू है कस्टमर का उससे ज्यादा तो उसको एक्वायर करने में ही खर्चा कर दे रही है सो दैट इज अ कंपनी व्हिच यू शुड कंप्लीटली ट्राई टू स्टे अवे फ्रॉम राइट सो दिस इज वन इंपॉर्टेंट मेट्रिक व्हिच इज एलटीवी टू कैक द अदर वन इज व्हाट इज द नेट नेट रिकरिंग रेवेन्यू व्हाट इज द ग्रॉस रिकरिंग रेवेन्यू नाउ लेट मी एक्सप्लेन विद दिस एग्जांपल सो एज आई mentioned about my wife being a chartered accountant see so so i told her when i was explaining it to her that that you have have your legacy client whom you are serving for last say 5 years right so there will be client just let's take two example client a jiska she does gst uh, internal audit and income tax client b Discuss. She does only GST and income tax, no internal audit. Now, if the same client has been there for the last five years and she has been able to uh, continue her services and charge him the same amount, so from and extrapolate that is sare client वैसे ही है. That means she is having a hundred percent recurring revenue. wherein no new as in you are not losing any business from your client right now uh, when they say that their gross recurring revenue is 98% that means of their existing client so jo client fy21 mein the unka jitna bhi business unko fy21 mein mila tha 98% of that business stayed in fy22 also right this is what uh net uh, gross recurring revenue means i hope uh, we'll take up uh, in the question answer also if anybody has but let me complete this first the second is net recurring revenue net recurring revenue may again go back to the ca wala example if for example uh client a jisko teen service provide kar rahe hai that client says ki nahi mereko teen nahi chahiye abhi do hi chahiye so that means you are having a churn in your business what churn the kind of business you were giving or the 100% jo business milne wala tha client aise ab wo 100% nahi milega maybe 80% milega 20% churn ho gaya because that client is no no longer requiring that 20% of that business 
client B, which was taking only two services, now said that okay, you do my uh, uh, internal audit as well. So client two को क्या बोल रहा client B का क्या हुआ? Churn के जगह बढ़ गया business. So when इनके केस में क्या हुआ कि अगर आप hundred rupees का business इनको आप पहले provide कर रहे थे, तो client A में क्या हुआ आपको churn हुआ, which is hundred का भी eighty हो गया. Client B में क्योंकि number of business बढ़ गया, service offering बढ़ गई है. That hundred has gone up to one twenty. Now when you combine or mix them, वो number हो सकता है somewhere between 95, 100, 105, so now come back to rate gain. When they are saying they are having net revenue, uh, net recurring revenue of 114%, which means that the existing clients were FY21, there are some people who churn, who churn churned in the sense, some services are not taking FY22. But there are some clients who have added new services कि इनका नेट रेट नेट रेकरिंग रेवेन्यू बढ़ के 114 परसेंट हो गया है, which is a very healthy sign, right? Normally a good SaaS company means your net recurring revenue should be somewhere between 115 to 120 is considered as a very good SaaS company. 